Sergio Torres and I play for Wicom Wonders, uh, Peterborough United, Lincoln City, Crowley Town and that's it, professional. Uh, I believe it's, it was 10 years I was a pro. Always, yeah, since I started kicking the ball when I was three, four years old, um, I wanted to do that, yeah. Um, well, my dad has always been, my, I'm really close to my family and my dad always was the one who, not pushed me, because he loved football as well, but he wasn't very good and he kind of uh, put everything he had in, in me and uh, he really helped me along the way to become the, the person and the player I was, so yeah, probably my dad. Um, proudest achievement, reaching the fifth round of the FA Cup, I think I'm playing at Old Trafford, I, I don't think I can get any bigger than that. Old Trafford, definitely. Oh, Stamford Bridge as well, but no, Old Trafford. Not Russell Martin, not Chris Wendell. Uh, let me think. Uh, you're good, but not that good. Um, best player I play with, Rob Lee. When I was at Wycombe, he was, um, he was about 39, 40 years old, but he was such a good footballer and I loved playing with him. Um, well, he had a great career, played for England, played for Newcastle. Been asked this question before uh, and uh, I was really impressed with, um, with two players actually. Uh, Drogba, when we played against Chelsea, he was, he was immense. Uh, defenders didn't have a clue how to mark him and I was very impressed with Frank Lampard. He's, um, his attitude, his running, and he was playing against a, you know, a League Two club at the time, and uh, I think he scored two goals against us that game. He was, he was very, I was very impressed with him. I don't know, I always felt like, um, not nervous, but really excited. I think it's because I love, I love the game so much, and then sometimes I used to put a bit too much pressure on myself to perform well, and I, with the years went on, I realised that you know, the less pressure you put on yourself, the best you perform, and the more you enjoy the game. But I just try to, to do, you know, the game day I, I used to have my routine and then I try to, to stick to that, uh, try to have the same breakfast, try, uh, I don't know, when you get to the dressing room I always, when I get changed I always try to put my right foot before, my right boot before my left foot, my right socks, right shin pads, so it was all in order and trying to, to keep that uh, as a routine, I think that helped me. Uh, very good question. A way I used to get abused because I used to get long hair and then I used to, every away game I used to get shot a lot of stuff but it really, it really pushed me and then to, to prove them wrong and to, uh, to show them that you know, I, was, I was a good player. Uh, so I think it, it, I, I even prefer to play away from home uh, many times. At home fans were always really nice, I was lucky enough in my career fans were really on my side. I think if you work hard the fans can see that, uh, you can make mistakes of course. but. Um, I, I, used to, I used to enjoy both to be fair. Uh, don't hide, uh, that's one thing which is, which is easy to do, go and, and try not to get on the ball. One thing I, I learned again with, with the time and that, uh, I, I used to have games where I, I couldn't pass it to my own teammate and it was like just do the simple stuff, do the simple pass you can do to get confident, like just keep it simple for two or three passes until you gain confidence and uh, because it's, it's not easy, once you could give it away one or two eyes and then you hear the crowd going uh, like every time, it can get into your head, but just, just keep it simple, keep the simple pass, uh, do something that will help you. Yes, used to train every day, I believe we used to have one day off, maybe the, the Sunday and sometimes the Wednesday, but because we play twice a week mainly, um, hardly you go any day off because you go for recovery the next day, um, so yeah, pretty much it's, a, it's an everyday job apart from Sunday sometimes. I think it will help you to eat healthy. Um, I always, I always try to stick to, to a very good diet, mixing, uh, mixing all the good vitamins and good proteins, good carbohydrates. You need a lot of that to perform, to have energy. Um, and then I used to have, I think, once a week, uh, which was normally Saturday night after playing, like a, a let off. I used to have a burger or my ice cream. I love ice cream, so Saturday night was my ice cream, and until the day of today, still my my ice cream night. To, to, to get up every day and train, that was, that was a dream. That was what I wished to do when I was little. So it wasn't, it wasn't really a work. I didn't, I didn't think playing football was a work for me. It was a job. Um, you know, I'd done it as, because I loved, I loved the game. Um, what drove me was 
I don't know. I, um, a little part of me was to prove people wrong, like when I was growing up and then I got a lot of rejections, like that I was too small or I wasn't good enough when I went on trial to a few clubs in Argentina, even here in England. Um, and that, that, that drove me inside to, to kind of um, prove people wrong. But yeah, it's just, just the, the inside of myself I really wanted, wanted to do it. A lot. Yeah, uh, my mate used to go out nearly every Saturday and Sunday and, and I used to try to <clears throat> you know, stay as professional as you can and, and don't, don't do that. But every now and then I used to go out as well, but you do sacrifice. You Big sacrifice for me was leaving my family, leaving my friends back home. I was only 22 and you know, leaving everything just to achieve your dream. It was a, that was the hardest decision I made in my, in my life. And, um, uh, you know, now it's been 17 years and I played professional for 10 years and I think I made my family proud, which was one of the main things for me. Uh, we used to play football every day. Uh, in the club I used to play, I think it was three times a week. Um, and then I used to play with my friends, I used to play at home with my dad all the time. So just kicking the ball was an everyday thing. Um, I love car racing. Um, my, my dad used to race cars and, uh, and then it's always in my family. So I used to, I wanted to do a bit of that, but apart from go-karting every now and then. And also, um, yeah, I used, to, I used to like playing a bit of, it's called paddle. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's in Spain quite big, in Argentina, um, which is a mix of tennis and squash. It's a really, really good sport and I used to play a lot of that as well. I miss training every day. I miss the, the banter in the dressing room, um, having fun every time. Um, just, just miss waking up knowing I'll, I'll be training, I'll be playing football. Uh, I really miss that, but you know, it gets to a time in life where uh, I always say, play every game like it's 100% and it's going to be your last game because football, you never know, you know one bad injury or something can happen and then you know, you, football is gone. Um, I wanted to stay connected to football and I, I started getting more interest in coaching the, the older I got to be fair and the last few years of my career I, I, I took a lot from, from the managers I had and I just want to help help kids who, that you know when I was that age I, I remember the coaches were really helping me and then I just uh, I think helping kids is one and just stay connected to the to the game I love. The best thing to train if you are uh, on your own is I normally, when I was your age, I used to find the wall and get a ball and then just play against the wall, do different kind of games, practice your touch. You know, the ball is always going to give you the ball back uh, exactly how you're going to play against uh, with the same pace and that. So uh, I would say practice your touch, practice everything against the wall. That's a, that's a very good practice. Um, I wasn't really nervous, I was really, really excited. My debut when I, um, when I was at Wicom was my first professional debut. Was, I was 24 at the time and it was a home game. I was on the bench and I was so excited and I was hoping I was going to come on. And I came on, I played half an hour with my first, I ran with the ball, the first touch. And I had a shot, I nearly scored, it would have been amazing. But yeah, I was, I was really excited, I wasn't, I wasn't nervous, I think. Come on, 